So I've been asked to take a look at this Mega Drive 2. And the problem with this, I think it's a black screen issue, similar to one that I've had before. It does have power, but nothing's displaying on the TV. So let's test it. There we go. Black screen of death. Let's try a different cartridge. And there we go, second cartridge. Does exactly the same. So I think the problem is either going to be the cartridge slot or it could be something similar to the last one I did. And if I'm honest, I, I don't remember how I fixed it. I think I swapped over a load of chips. There was some trace damage. It was a bit of a nightmare. All right, enough nonsense. Let's get this thing apart. And just before I magically take this apart, I just want to say a big thank you to my Holy Hand Grenade patrons, Tidder and Taylor Helton. Thank you so much, guys, as always. And everyone else who supports me on Patreon. You guys make these decidedly average videos possible, so thank you. I've run out of magic words. Um, open sesame? Nice. First impressions, it looks fine. It is a little bit dusty, but it's not corroded. There's no visible capacitor. Bulgidge. I think the main suspect has got to be the cartridge connector here. I mean, it doesn't look particularly dirty, but I think I need to take this board out, maybe inspect the solder joints on the back. We'll get this under the microscope and have a quick look. It's amazing how much fluff you can see under the microscope. With a naked eye, that didn't look that bad, but boy oh boy does that need a good clean. Anyway, before I carry on, I think I've been really upsetting somebody's OCD, th this guy here, and the reason for it is, is this here, and, and I'm really sorry, but I, I never noticed it until you pointed it out. I mean, I don't even know what it is. Hmm. It's gone. If anything else I do is triggering anyone's OCD, please do let me know in the comments. Let's have another look at this. I mean, they're a little bit grubby, sure, but I don't see a problem. Look at the other side. We've got like a hair or something in there but that's probably not going to make any difference. Right well I think I'll start with just giving that a quick clean. Uh, you can see all the debris at the bottom but that shouldn't be interfering with the pins at all. As always my cleaning is going to be done by isopropyl alcohol 99.9% .9 pure. <laughs> Right, that looks better. I mean, you can still see the. I can't get to the bottom of it, but the pins themselves. Yeah, they look absolutely fine, don't they? Let's try it now. Okay, switch it on. Oh. Oh. Well, that's weird. Well, it got a little bit further that time, didn't it? Let's try resetting it. Oh, it makes funny noises. Hmm. Oh, oh. Well, that doesn't sound right, does it? Oh, it has kind of come on, though. But something's not right. Hmm, interesting. Let's try this other game. Okay, well, that... That appears to have come on. Sound doesn't quite sound right though. Right, well that one works, but there's obviously still something not quite right with it. The sound isn't right. I mean, I suppose that could still be the cartridge slot, couldn't it? I think I need to take this out and have a look at the solder joints on the other side. Let's get it back under the microscope. Right, well, they look okay. A few of them do appear to be a different colour. I don't know whether anything's been reflowed there. But yeah, nothing really looks out of the ordinary there, does it? I think I might start by just reflowing all of these. I mean, I could take it off and switch it out for another one, but that looks like a lot of work. <laughs> Let's start with a reflow. Hmm. 
Right, there we go. They're all nice and shiny now and nice and reflowed. Let's give that a try now, see if it see if it behaves any differently. No. It's not come on at all. No, it's not it's not having it. Let's try the other one. No, no, that one's not come on at all either. I've actually made it worse. Yeah, well they're all going from the pins inside the cartridge slot to these pins on this side. Uh, the other thing I'm just going to check is just that these are going to where they should be around the board. I think I see the problem. Look at that. What a dingbat. That actually looks... Wow, okay. I don't know what that is. That's like a piece of metal that's was stuck there that was bridging them. There we go. How weird. Odd. Don't know where that came from. Well, let's try it now. Without that piece of metal. I mean, I'll have to watch the video back, but I don't know whether I did that or how that happened. If it was interesting, I'll put a slow-mo instant replay on. Alright, let's try it now without that piece of metal in there. Oh, that's promising. Oh. Come on, play some sound without any crackles. Yes! Right, well, I'll give this a, a, a good clean. I'll put it all back together. I'll clean the case, and then we'll we'll test it properly, and let's see if it's actual working now. Nice. Let's test it. Awesome. Right, let's try the other game. So far, so good. Oh, yes. Let's play some Streets of Rage. Ha 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 ha! You ain't the boss of me. 